Getting this out of the way, Matt Reif was brought up into the spotlight even more when he made a joke about domestic violence. I've only been to Baltimore one time. I ate lunch there, and the hostess who, like, seats you at the restaurant had a black eye. <laughs> a full black eye. And it wasn't like, what happened? Yeah, it was pretty obvious what happened. And we couldn't get over the fact that we're like, this is the face of the company? Like, this is... This is who you have greeting people? And my boy who I was with was like, yeah, I feel bad for her, man. I feel like they should you know, put her in the kitchen or something where nobody, <laughs> where nobody has to see her face, you know? And I was like, yeah, but I feel like if she could cook, she wouldn't have that black eye. He then told those offended uh, to view his public apology, which redirected them to a retailer selling helmets for those with special needs. I cannot even tell you the amount of videos I've seen just today from both men and women. But the outrage does not stop there because Matt shared this to his Instagram stories, saying if you've ever been offended by a joke I've told, here's a link to my official apology. When you click on that link, it takes you here. As shallow and baseless as the joke is, I can sort of understand why some people with a freshman year of high school humor would find it appealing. So I wanted to look at some other material. Maybe this one was just a bad example. I mean, there has to be some reason why he sold out his world tour only 10 days after advertising it. Oh no, he's high! In all seriousness, almost instantly upon opening Netflix, I can see that his audience is filled with mostly women who scream uh, like Justin Bieber just walked out on stage. Being someone who is reasonably an easy target for physical ridicule, I give myself the right to say he looks like this in my opinion. But of course, to each their own. I mean, he's got the body, he's got the hair, why wouldn't every wine mom show up? But let's say we cover the muscles and make him look like a normal stand-up comedian. And let's try to subjectively answer the question, is Matt Reif actually funny? Now, I sat before writing this and forced myself to watch the entire special that he gloats about so much on the internet. Matt Reif's Natural Selection is a special that is just over an hour long and, according to him, is his big breakout after 12 years of doing stand-up comedy. Uh, by the way, the infamous joke from the very beginning of this video takes place in less than five minutes on this special as he follows it with just testing the waters. Testing the waters, seeing if y'all are gonna be fun or not. To see. Which, if you don't know, just testing the waters or seeing how fun a crowd is, is typically a way for a comedian to say something really offhanded and overly offensive and trying to deflect any sort of responsibility for saying those things. There is about two minutes where this 28 year old goes on about how much he dislikes young people, followed by how much he adores older people. It's pretty clear by his jokes very early on that he writes them for either millennial moms or about the females that he knows is his primary audience. For example, in this special, Matt talks about how a specific joke would have landed had there had been more males in the crowd. To me, that's kind of just acknowledging that even he is aware that his looks are a big driving force into um, his success in comedy. Which is strange because not long ago, he said this in an interview. I will say, I don't think it helps you by any means. I mean, people don't want to laugh at like physically attractive people. Like you don't want to walk on stage and have people looking at your arms rather than listening to your jokes. I think it just makes me work that much harder on the material and the jokes that I'm trying to tell to get people to focus focus on the real show at hand. I mean, pulling an audience off of your looks alone isn't even necessarily a bad thing. Just look at who he models himself after. Nothing is specifically wrong with it. Entertainers of all genders, ages, and niches do this and have for quite some time. So do I think Matt Reif uses his attractiveness and physique to get more ticket sales? I think we both know the answer to that one. But I genuinely sat and tried to give this special a chance. And funnily enough, just a few days ago, I had listened to probably the funniest special I have ever heard. This was Beautiful Dog by Shane Gillis. And there was some very similar themes to natural selection. Mass shootings, ableism, race, sex, sexuality. These were all topics made into jokes covered by both of these comedians. These are type of jokes that I feel like comedians really need to dial in and confront with a sense of sensitivity and humanity. I, being a bit biased here, thought that Shane delivered those jokes perfectly and very humorously while Matt kind of just said them. Of course he had to deliver them in a way as to not get in trouble, but it felt so bland and wannabe edgy. For example, while Shane would say something sort of risque, he would then link it back to his overarching story and personal personhood and even give himself a little bit of a humility lesson out of it. While Matt, like I said, just kind of said things and assumed if his audience was fun, then it would land. 
I've never really understood this desire to be this problematic, which is literally a title of one of his shows, and ruffle as many feathers as possible. Like, when you're in comedy, shouldn't your main goal be to make everyone around you have fun? Which is the one thing that Matt was good at, was the crowd working. Which, if you don't know what that is, is essentially just improvising and joking around with the audience. And he's kind of known for his crowd work now, and when he said this at the end of his special... But what do I know? I only do crowd work, right? I think it was true. His written stuff is how the young kids would say mid, and I think he needs to hire more writers. If I had to rate his breakout special natural selection on a scale of Beautiful Dogs by Shane to the leather special by Amy Schumer, he would be just under the middle. But hey, what do I know? My name is Comical Chris, and I barely make jokes.